Let me ask you, did you see the uh, stuff with the Nets? They got they got fined a hundred thousand for low management. Did you see that? I told you. Well, you think because the players want <laughs> it seemed like the players wanted to like Mikael Bridges. He's played like every game since he was like ten. He's played like he has not missed a game. They played him the first half and sat him down. And when the media asked him about it, he was like, "I wasn't with it. I was healthy. I was ready to play." So what do you make of that? Because it seems like the, some of these players want to go. Yeah, that's cool. But it's it's not them, though. It's the star players who need the load management. That's where all that shit come into play. But, yeah, no, I'm with it shit. If a motherfucker can go, yo, let me go. I don't care if it's the first game or the last game of the season. Mm. Let me go. Like, shit, what's it going to hurt? Now, again, you can go with the same load management for the end of the season, like I was telling you uh, previous. Mm. The first, like, you could have played Kells the first five minutes. Right. He could have played the first five minutes of the third quarter. With each half or something, yeah. Fans got to see him. He got a little bit of cardio in. And now the young fellas can go off of that. So do you agree with the NBA finding teams for that? Because they got hit. I think it's, it's contradictive. Why? Because... They, you know, we all know is what it's for is for the money games. Of course, you know what I'm saying. If it's that game, if it probably wasn't a TV game, he wouldn't have got fined. Mm. I'm pretty sure of it. I think it's yeah, 100 for the first. I think it's 200 or 250 mm -hmm. for the next one. But I think I feel like it's only money fines. And if you're gonna find a billionaire only money, then. They gonna be able to pay. You know that's, what I'm saying? Are you really trying to deter the behavior? That's that's what it is. But no, the biggest question is where the fuck does that fine money go? That's a great question. Where that's, does it go? Man, that's like that's always been the golden question. Even when I was playing. We need to get to the bottom of that. Man, man. <laughs> call David Stern. Call hell right now and ask for David Stern. <laughs> 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 Call him. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good question, though. I don't know why they do that, though, man. I do think we need to do an expose and find out. For real. Where this bread. For real. Go on everybody. Look, call call some past people who might have worked in the NBA offices. Hey, yo, where this fine money go? Mm -hmm. Well... Let me sit back and tell you that <laughs> y'all put a guest room on Adam Silver's house. That's where y'all. That's where y'all. Y'all put a new boat in uh, David Stern's oh, dock. Man, what bought it? Probably bought him a new crib. This and that. Especially me. Shit. Yeah, I'm. What was the technical fine uh, when you play? It started out when I first came into the league. The techs were five hundred. Five hundred dollars. That's not. All right, and by the time I left, they were fifteen hundred. So this is your fault. Yeah, it's it's mine. That that that's that rule that that Draymond got hit with. This is well, not this past time with him um, elbowing the dude, but a previous time when he got suspended for his text. Mm -hmm. That's my rule. It was like fifteen or 16? 16. 16. 16. Oh, you know it exactly. I bet yeah, you do. It's sixteen. It's it's my rule. It's the She Wallace rule. But you think you think they had enough heart to say that? <laughs> And I, I, I was saying it in the media when it first came out. Like, oh, yeah, that's for me. Like, y'all know that just as well as I know that. But this cocksucker don't want to say that. <laughs> was that. Did they put that in effect after you? Were you ever subject to your own rule? Yes, bro. It like was, you was for in, oh, me when, when I, was, I was in Portland. That's when you had, what, 40? It, it came out. No, that was after that. Okay. It was after that. And so the 17th Tech... Um, it's a suspension. Mm. And then like the... I think it's every two after that or something. Every, like that. yeah, every right. two or some shit, you know. But now the way it is, the f they increase throughout the season. Right. So like yeah. when I first came in, it was 500 all season. 500. Yeah. The they whole were basically season. begging you to get a technical foul. Oh, right, pretty much. That, that's why, you know, they had they cheating ass refs call all the <laughs> bullshit. But it started out... Like, I think it was like from one to six was like 1,500. From seven mm. to 10 or seven to 11 was like 2,500. And then, you know, as it went up, then uh, of course the ultimate fine was suspension. Then when you get suspended, that's 182nd of your paycheck. 
they were still encouraging y'all to get. Yeah. Yeah, that's why they sent they, they bullies out there, dog. I'm telling you. What bullies? The refs. The refs. They was it's all, bullying. It's, all, it, it, it's almost making me think and making me want to do some homework. Did he tell them motherfuckers to do it? Was he part of it? Was who? Stern. Was he part of it? Can you put it past him? I can't put it past him. Ain't no telling from, from what I seen and heard about the referees previous. I wouldn't put it past him. But it's... You not I know one thing you're not gonna fucking tell me that one dude gonna bring down a billion dollar company. Right. Fuck out of here. But a lot of those referees, well not a lot of them, some of them still refing, mm -hmm. but a lot of them just up and all of a sudden quit and retire from the NBA. I seen two refs are collegiate refs. Mm -hmm. You got your homie Steve Javi on fucking Espen. My boy. Yeah, your homie. A yeah. couple of other refs, you know. Um, one ref now, he's, and it's how it's fucking blasphemy with this. <laughs> this guy is the head of the NBA officials, and you was one of the cheating refs. <laughs> who better to teach the new class, <laughs> the new generation? Who, netted, who, who better to, to uphold the tradition? I, I I can't call it, bro. I can't call it. 